Not the last of it. Oh, there's a few more left in my room, but oh, I'll grab them later once I've sorted this lot out. Oh, look at that. All my worldly possessions. Not much to show for a bloke my age, is it? Well, look on the bright side. At least you didn't have to hire a removal van. Good point. And listen, uh, Tar, by the way, I really appreciate your help. Of course, any time. You have let the debt collection agency know that you've changed your dress, though, haven't you? Only I don't want some meathead bailiff banging down my door in the middle of the night. I have got enough on my plate having to represent Dodgy Damon from the bistro. Oh, right. Talk about all your clients that way, do you? Nah. Just the dodgy ones. <laughs> well, you've got nothing to worry about. I've let the agency know where they can find me. Good. I still don't know why you've signed up for this, though, Paul. Everyone knows those places are rip-off merchants. Look, I'd rather get a few angry letters in the post than have to watch our gem worry about if her and Ches can afford to get married or feed the kids or bung the eating on. Well, if you don't start making those payments soon, it'll be more than a few angry letters coming your way. Those people don't mess around. I know, and I'll sort myself somehow. And listen, I meant what I said. I am sorry about moving out like this and dropping you in it with a flat. Oh, it's OK. No, I'm sure I'll find someone to take the room before too long. Hey, I might even find myself a good-looking hunky lodger. Mm. Only a straight one this time. Mm. <laughs> well, good luck with that. <laughs> anyway, I, uh, I best crack on, get this lot packed away. Right, yeah. OK, well, I'll see you later. See ya. Are you sure you don't mind us hanging out with Miley later? Yeah, of course not. Why would I? Well, I just thought, cos you've been busy at work and I know you wanted us to spend some time together, but since she's off school, I want to take the most of it. Honest, it is fine. But listen, yeah? I want to buy her a present. Before you start, don't worry, I'm not going to go overboard and buy her a car or anything. I just want to get her a present to show that I'm trying. To buy her affection? Well, if it works, then stuff it. But I don't know what girls her age like. Yeah. A phone? Justin Bieber, probably. I don't know. She did actually mention that she likes sports. All right, well, what kind? She said basketball. Nice one. Well, I'll go into town and see what I can pick up. You better get your tram. I'll see you later. See ya. Greg. Just promise me, nothing too fancy or expensive. Cross my arm. It's 20 quid, tops. Hi, Maybe 30. Nice. 35. There you go, young man. You fill your boots. Thanks, but it's not for me, it's for my dad. Oh. Avoiding me, is he? No, he's just too lazy to walk down the flipping street. Oh, that sounds about right. Hiya. What do you want? I was just wondering if Amy's doing OK. Well, I'm surprised you haven't heard, thanks to me shouting my gob off. She's doing all right, thanks for asking. Good. Tell her I said hi. Well, maybe you could ask her yourself, you know, I'm sure she'd appreciate it. All right, I'll drop by later on. Hey, Bernie, can I have two black coffees to go, please? No milk, no sugar. On it. Well, I hope you're not in a rush, cos instant coffee it isn't. Sorry, did you want flop in yours or not? Cos I can't quite remember. Is that true? Is what true? About Amy, that she's OK? No, she's not. Partly because of me. I contacted the local newspaper about that protest I did. I was going to do an interview, but um, I'm not now. I told him to do one. What made you change your mind? Amy doesn't want me to do it. What, because she doesn't want the publicity? She said she got it wrong about what happened with Aaron that night. So you mean you never? Well, not according to her. You don't seem too convinced. That's because I'm not. I think she's lying because she wants all of this to go away, mm. even if it means he gets away with it. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'll be there as soon as I can. Thanks. Well, you got yourself a little help there. Yeah. Well, he needed one. Saw him trying to get across the road with this lot and nearly dropped it twice. About help the aged. Right, I'm going to go call on Amy, so I will see you later. Not to see you first. Mm. It's nice having you back home. Ah, oh, It's nice to be home. <laughs> see ya. See ya. What? I'm oh, just, um, just checking you're OK. Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Oh, you mean the thing with the boxes? Come on. You know what I'm like? I've always been a bit clumsy. It's not just that. Have you thought any more about what you're going to do about this debt collection agency? Well, 
was thinking of asking around a few places, you know, see if anyone's got any jobs going. But apart from that, there's not much I can do, is there? Not until I've seen the consultant later and get this sorted. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, me too. Just hope whatever it is, they can fix it and fix it quick. Because as soon as I'm back to normal, as soon as I can start paying them off. <laughs> Afternoon. Mind if we join you, Brian? <laughs> I'll be my guest. Oh. He's a little charmer, isn't he? Yeah. Who said the art of conversation is dead? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was just looking up flights to uh, Napoli. Oh, you're going on holiday? Oh, not exactly. I've family there. Don't really? get him started. I'll tell you something else, though. Oh, too late. It's not exactly cheap. Oh. <laughs> My carbon footprint's going to be the size of a, a clown's shoe, but what can you do? Well, you can stop getting ahead of yourself and rushing into things. How do you mean? Well, that cousin of yours. Isabella. Yes, sir. I mean, she'd never even replied to say that you can go and stay with her, has she? Oh, no. Not yet, but she will. How can you be so sure? You've never even met the woman. Because blood is thicker than water. Especially the red hot, passionate Neapolitan blood like she and I share. <sighs> See what I mean? Yeah, I'm starting to get the gist. Well, despite those rather disparaging remarks, I'm actually uh, pleased to hear, Rita. There's something I would like to uh, run past you. Uh, shall I strap myself in for this? Oh, very droll. When I get the dates finally for my trip back to the mother country, would you mind looking after the cabin while I'm gone? By myself? Yes. Well, yes, I would mind, actually. I'll tell you why. I don't like the idea of me getting up, opening the shop, and you're swanning round Italy. So, you'll have to find somebody else. <laughs> well, I suppose I could always ask Mary. At least I can usually rely on her not to let me down, unlike some people. Oh. What a shame you haven't got your violin. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Finally! I've been trying to get hold of you all morning. Sorry, I had my phone off. <sighs> well, sort of lad, your age has his phone off. Weirdo. Anyway, look, I've got some good news. Mm, that'll make a change. So, I was in the cafe earlier, and I overheard Tracy telling Adam that Amy's admitting she got it wrong about that night, about what happened between you and her. Oh. You mean she's... She's saying that I didn't force myself on her. Yes! So, touch wood, as long as the human Rottweiler Tracy McDonald backs off, you're gonna be all right. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> I honestly don't believe it. <laughs> it's all right. It's all over now. Come here. <laughs> Oh, the court date has been set for next Wednesday, which means now's a perfect time for us to just go over everything. Sorry, did you say next Wednesday? Yeah, why? I'm busy that day. We're gonna have to take a rain check. Is that supposed to be funny? I thought so. Hi. Sorry. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No need to apologise. Always a pleasure. I was actually talking to Dee Dee. Uh, I don't suppose you've, you've seen Adam. He's supposed to be taking me for lunch and he's not picking up his phone. He, um, had to pop into town for a meeting. It was all a bit last minute. <sighs> Typical. Does he do that a lot, then stand you up the rotter? No, he doesn't, actually. Not that it's any of your business. If I see him, I can tell him you're looking for him. Where will you be? Uh, just in the Rovers. Great. Well, I'll let him know. OK, thank you. Bit. Hi. So where were we? Hello? Sorry, I was miles away, then. So I see. Hiya, how's tricks? Uh, well, I can't complain. Well, I could, but... Um, table for one, you're meeting someone? Actually, um, I was wondering if you've got any jobs going. It don't matter what it is, I'll do pretty much anything. Right, uh, no, not really. I mean, we're hardly rushed off our feet, are we? Anyway, I thought you were working with Ed Bailey. Oh, um, long story, but that's kind of on hold for a while. Between you and me, 
I'm really struggling at the moment. I could do with something coming in. It don't matter how small. Uh, right, OK, look, I suppose I can offer you a few hours here and there. It's just as a kitchen porter, pay's not great. Oh, that's fine, I'll take it. OK, well, look, come back at five and we can get started. Great, I'll see you then. And thanks, mate. I really appreciate it. All right, mate. See your dad's keeping you busy. Hey, you haven't forgotten about that gig tonight? I'm not your mate. And I haven't forgotten about it, but I'm not going. Definitely not with you. Listen, I don't know what you've heard, but it's not true. You've got this all wrong. So Amy's lying, is she? What sort of scumbag are you? Why could you do that to her? She's supposed to be our friend no, and I you just... didn't, I swear. I saw the flyers and heard about you getting into that police car. That was to do with my dad. <laughs> yeah, right. OK, listen, look, the police did take me in because of what Amy said happened that night, but they cleared me of it because it's not true. Like I'm going to believe you. Fine. Fine, you don't have to. Just ask her yourself. What are you talking about? She's admitted now that it didn't happen because it didn't. So when you've spoken to her and you've calmed down, you owe me an apology. What do you want? Can't you just call me Craig? Saz, Craig. What are you after? I'll have two teas and a strawberry milkshake, please. Are you sure you don't want a donut with that? <laughs> oh, it's a joke. It's like a chill pill. Hiya. Ah, perfect timing. I have ordered us two teas and I have got you a strawberry milkshake. That's all right. I prefer chocolate, but yeah, it's fine. All right, well, it's okay. I'll just get it changed. It's Craig. She said it's fine. Just let it go. Right. And I have got you a little something. Now, it's a sort of, it's a sort of present. I, I hope you like it. Thanks. Why have you got me this, though? Well, it's a catcher's mitt, innit? Faye said you were really into your baseball. No, I said basketball. I'm sure I did. Oh. I've messed up again, Anna. It's fine. And thanks. Nah, uh, I understand. Everyone's in the same boat, aren't they? Just thought I'd call and see if you had anything going. Well, if anything comes up, we give us a shout, yeah? I could really do with some help at the moment. All right. Cheers, pal. Hiya. You finished unpacking, then? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm hardly Elton John, am I? Half a dozen boxes in an old hall. He'd need more than that for his glasses, never mind his wigs. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you up to now? Well, seeing as all you mention it, I have just landed myself a part time job at the Bistro. Oh, congratulations! Eh? We should celebrate. I'm not getting you drunk, if that's what you're on about. I meant maybe we could grab a bite to eat at Speed Doll later. Um, I don't know. I... Look, don't worry about the money, we can go Dutch. No, it's. Look, I've got a shift in a bit, so it'd have to be after then, but I'll treat you. No problem. OK, cool. Right, well, I'll give you a call in a bit and congratulations again. Yeah, ta So how's the flower arranging business treating you today? Oh, fine, thank you. Although now you mention it, I did have a rather unusual request from a customer this afternoon. Do tell. Well, his wife has just died and he wants me to do this floral arrangement to adorn her coffin. What's unusual about that? Well, he wants it to say, cheating cow. See what you mean. Oh, excuse me, I've got to get back to work. <laughs> Just the woman I was looking for? Are you talking to me? I was indeed. Well then, congratulations, you found me. <laughs> what can I help you with? I've, um, sort of a proposition for you. Oh, steady on. Uh -huh. <laughs> as, as, as you know, I've, uh, been um, looking into my Italian roots recently. Oh, yes, you have mentioned it once or twice. Well, I'm planning on going on a trip to Napoli to see my cousin Isabella. Oh, how lovely. You know, I passed through there once, many moons ago, when I was young, carefree and full of spunk. In fact, there was a memorable afternoon by the Castle Nuevo with an ice cream vendor. <laughs> you know, sadly, I've forgotten his name now, but... I'll never forget the colour of his eyes, or indeed the taste of his fruity discusa. That's a very mo moving story. 
Anyway, back to what I was talking about. Uh, as you can understand, I'm really excited about going there and I kind of need your help to do it. Yes. Yes, what? Oh, Brian, of course I'll accompany you. Obviously, I would insist on separate rooms, especially if that vendor is still working his pitch. <laughs> but of course I'll accompany you. Salute! There you go, sweetheart. Oh, thank you. Flying solo? Oh, don't. I was meant to be meeting my uh, husband for lunch, but uh, he's working again. Oh, well, that's the trouble with you. I fly in career types. All work, no play. Or then before you know it, your life's flashed before your eyes and you, you're lying on your deathbed, taking your last breath, realising you've wasted most of it slogging your guts out. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, mm. Yeah, thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Enjoy the food. Room for a little one. Oh, yeah, you just be my guest. Look, I hope we don't think I'm intruding, but I just couldn't stand the thought of someone as gorgeous as you eating alone. Wow. I am touched. Well, play your card right and you just might be. <laughs> Look, I've already told you, you're wasting your time. I am married and I am never sleeping with you. Trust me, if I win this bet and we do go to bed, the last thing you'll be doing is sleeping. So, what have you been up to today? Nothing, really. I haven't been up to much. I don't really feel like seeing many people, funnily enough. Mm, it's hardly surprising after what you've been through. Listen, Summer, there's something I need to talk to you about. Don't worry, I'll get rid of them. Hi. Hey. I just spoke to Aaron. Why are you even talking to him? Well, he, he came around the shop because we were supposed to be going to a gig later, so I told him to get lost. But. Then you said that you're now saying he didn't do it, that he, he didn't rape you. Well, he's obviously lying. No. He's not. What? He made a mistake. I made a mistake, but I, I can't be certain anymore that it was rape. Amy, are you sure you're not just saying all of this to get everyone to back off and make it go away? No. No, like I just said, I can't be certain what went on. I was drunk. But I do just want to forget it and for things to go back to how they were. So go to the gig with him. I don't really care anymore. Now, can we please just talk about something else? No, I can definitely make the next instalment. Look, I know I've got behind, but I'm hoping in a couple of weeks I'll be able to start paying it off a lot quicker. Yeah, OK, I will. Hope yours are on, mate. Paul Foreman? Yeah? Would you like to come through? You better get ready, cos this is gonna be like a bullet. Funny that, cos I'd actually eat one right now. Ooh, hey! A nice one! You're a natural. I have cut a bow before, you know. <laughs> All right, love, I've got your text. Ready to go? What? Is she going already? We were just getting started. Well, I'm sure you can do it another time. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Thanks. I have fun. Uh, yeah, me too. I, I will keep these safe for you. Thanks. <laughs> right, come on, we'll watch the tram stop. OK. Cheer up. She said she had fun. Yeah, but she didn't mean it, did she? So, you're saying after all that, you still don't know what it is? At the moment, I'm afraid not. <sighs> yeah, but what about the symptoms I've been getting? Like, the weird feeling in my hand and not being able to pick things up, it's not getting any better. I mean, it's keeping me from work. I, I need the money, so I, I need to get this side. I do understand your concerns, Mr Foreman, but I need to refer you to my colleague, who's a neuromuscular expert, to confirm a possible diagnosis. Diagnosis? Of what? The symptoms you've been experiencing are very common with limb-onset motor neuron disease. 
I'm not saying that's definitely what it is, but we just need to be sure. Well, if it is what you said, then um, what kind of symptoms and that am I going to be looking at? If it is limb onset MND, over time, there would typically be a gradual but increased loss of muscular strength and coordination. And in the latter stages, an inability to breathe unassisted. Is there anything you can do to cure it? I'm afraid not. So how long are we talking? How long have we got? As I say, we don't know if it... How long? Results vary from patient to patient, so it's hard to say. Well, if you're not going to tell me, I'm just going to search it online. So come on, tell me. How long? Generally speaking, following a diagnosis, the life expectancy of 50% of people with MND is less than three years. It's important you look out for any other symptoms. Muscle cramps, twitches. Is that what happens with this limb on set? It's incredibly difficult to have to wait, but the specialist will be able to confirm if it is motor neuron disease or not. Why do I have to see him when I've not got any of the other symptoms? I mean, surely there's other things you've not ruled out. MND is very complex to diagnose. As you can understand, it's a diagnosis we would not want to get wrong. You're likely to have questions before your appointment, and you can call at any time. Do you have a partner? Yeah. You might want someone with you when you see the specialist. <laughs> Why, when it might not even be that? That's where we differ. To me, Michael Jordan will always be the GOAT. No, Dad. It's LeBron James. Well, I guess we'll have to see both play to decide who's the greatest. LeBron is awesome. And he stars in movies. So did MJ. Hey, well, I bet they both suck at baseball. <laughs> well, actually, when Michael Jordan retired for the first time, he went into Major League Baseball. And then played basketball again. Oh, we better be going. Wait, um, can we stay? Go to the precinct? Play that game again from yesterday? Precinct? Have I missed something here? No. We need to be going. You can come again any time. No way. Did he just say that? Well, they can't just finish it there, right? We need to put the next one on. Well, Franklin is definitely cheating on her. Well, it's a man, isn't he? Do you want another drink? Look, are you sure you want to watch this right now? Oh, if you'd rather go hang out with Addy, it's fine. No, not when he's with him. I just mean, with everything lately, men being scumbags isn't exactly cheery, is it? We could watch something else. It's fine. What, have you um, heard anything from uni? Are they all right with you having time off? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're fine with it. My tutor sent me some work to catch up with over the Easter holidays, so all good. Right, put it on. Well, Franklin is definitely lying. He's going to get found out. Oh, <laughs> slacking on the job already. On the phone first, eh? I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, oh, look, watch your hands, yeah? The water, it's scalded. We don't want to fill out an incident report, do we?
sorry. I was bursting. I'm ready now. I'll press play in a sec. Yeah, no rush. Why do companies send you so many updates on a parcel? I only care when it arrives. Ooh, anything nice? Hoodie in the sale. Looks like Addy's having fun at the gig with Aaron. Posting pictures and everything. Why would he... I thought Addy would be more considerate than to be posting pictures. Mm. Look, Amy, you know you can be totally honest with me. If there is anything about what happened with Aaron that you need to talk about, I mean, I know you took it all back. I don't but... need to talk about anything, OK? It's just not nice being reminded of what I did to you. Seeing his smug face makes me feel bad. Yeah, but we're OK. Aren't we? I just want to make sure you are. I'm fine. Let's finish this. Um, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to go. I didn't realise what the time was. I've got to meet Paul later, so can we watch this tomorrow or something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, text me later, yeah? Why don't we take in more than one city? I mean, Venice, Naples, Rome. I always imagined myself as Audrey Hepburn, you know, riding around on a moped, clutching onto Gregory Peck's pecs. Then let's make it happen. I want to soak up the culture, connect with my people. And who exactly are your people? Well, that's what I want to find out. I, mean, I might be a direct descendant of an Italian great. Oh, no! I was going to ask Isabella if she knew of a good tour company. She just emailed to say she, she wants to come here. Flat's been renovated. Oh, bang goes my dream of being serenaded by an Italian on a gondola. <laughs> we'll take Isabella to the canals of Birmingham and you can do karaoke on a dinghy with a brummy. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. So this is where you're both hiding, is it? Oh, uh, well, Sam's offered to help Harry with his reading, so, you know, I thought I'd have a little cheeky one while my mum looks after him both. Cheeky one? Bet you've not moved from that spot all day. I tell you what, go on, go and get us another one in. It can make up for standing me up at lunch. Mm. And never making me a brew in the office. Yeah, he does that to me as well. Makes himself one. <laughs> drives me mad. <laughs> from uh, what I hear, your lunch wasn't a complete washout, though. How do you mean? Well, after you popped in the office earlier, Damon shut out the door. Came back all smiles, saying he'd have lunch with you. Oh, he did not have lunch with me. He was sat near to me. <laughs> well, adjacent to, in the vicinity of... I'd be careful if I were you. I've seen that smile on his face before when he was trying it on with me. Be stupid if he tried. I'm married. That's even more of a challenge. Believe me, men like that, once they've got their sights set on something, or well, someone, Stop at nothing. Hey! Sorry, I didn't mean to make you jump. I hope you're hungry because I have been craving mango chutney all day. Um, you, you could just get a takeout, stay in, put your move here. After the day I've had, I just want to go somewhere nice and relaxing and vent at you. I hope that's OK. <laughs> I could do with picking your brains about something. Sure. Right, do you mind if I meet you there in a minute? I just need to pick something up from the shop. No, um... I'll, I'll get us a table. Victor, uh, are you a table? Are we going somewhere nice? Oh, I'm just taking some speed down. Oh. Right, I see. Well, a mother is for life, you know, not just for Mother's Day. Would you like to come for dinner, ma'am? Oh, I would love that, Apollo. The thing is, ma'am, I'm, I'm not right, sure. Right, you're it. Come on, I'll race you. Last one there has to pick up the tab. Come on, come on, chop, chop. Thanks. Hey, what's the hold up? Nothing. 
I'm fine. Come on! I'm fine. I have to get this right. The, the wrong places will give her a false impression. For goodness sake, what's wrong with the art gallery and the science museum? I wanted to get a sense of where I am from. Then take her to Roy's and get her a bacon balm. Honestly, if you're going to be this worried about it, you take all the joy out of meeting her. <sighs> Rita, just in time. I'll get you a drink. Oh, <laughs> I am not stopping. I'm looking for Jenny. I want to make sure she's free for lunch on Sunday. Are you sure we can't tempt you? Brian needs help with his plans for Isabella's visit. Apparently my ideas are dull. Oh, I thought you were jetting off to meet her in Italy. Mm. Her flat's been done up, so she's coming here. Oh. Hey, that lets you off the hook, looking after the cabin. Why would that let me off the hook, looking after the cabin? <sighs> when, I, when I talked uh, about Italy, at uh, first I was um, going to ask you to cover for me, but then when you said about coming with me, I thought it was such a lovely idea. Well, why didn't you correct me? I wouldn't have been offended. I know, but the thought of your company would, would have been nice, and I'd have had someone to uh, share my memories with. Well, I suppose it's for the best. You know how people gossip, and Italy just screams romantic getaway, at least this way. Nobody get the wrong idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, whatever you do, don't take Isabella to the art gallery. Last time I went there, they had a very dull exhibition. Postmodernism. Oh, postmodernism. I couldn't take to it. It's postmodernism. I just said I couldn't take to it. I don't want you to think it was planned. It's fine. But obviously, it's not you've been quiet since they left. I get that you wanted to check on her and that you need to do it alone. It's Miley. You don't have to justify it. But. I feel like there is one. It's not just how you're spending time with, is it? It's Jackson. Do you expect Smiley to come on her own? No, of course not, but... Well, you'd have a kid with him. <sighs> Seriously? How would you feel if it were the way around? I would understand that you was co-parenting, learning what it even means to co-parent and how to do it. I just want to spend time with my daughter. <sighs> what can I get you both? Large white wine, please. He's paying. Mm. Trouble in paradise. <sighs> Yeah. Can I just have a pint, please? Hey, nothing says I'm sorry better than a bag of pork scratchings. Yeah, whatever, sure, let's get some of that. You're not eating that? Yeah, I will. Um, no, I'm just not that hungry. <laughs> Are you all right? You didn't even order a main. Actually, I'm not feeling that great. Oh, I feel bad for dragging you here now. No, it's nice to spend time with you. Don't worry, Kev. I'll eat enough for all three of us. <laughs> well, what else have you eaten today? Your blood sugar must be low and you look well tired. Yeah, I've not had much. Right, well, then it's a non-negotiable, OK? You need to eat. Tell me what you'd say to me. Oh, come on. Hey, kiddo, I was thinking, you know when you get this massive payout, you could go on a proper holiday as a family. Mmm, yeah, that sounds nice. Yeah? Yeah, I guess you and Billy could come and all. Now, I would say we could go to go to Hotel Playa in Alicante, but if Eduardo still owns the place, well, I might not be welcome. Did you get banned? No, 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 not banned, just, um, just not welcome. Why? What did you do? Right, allegedly, I was seen doing the Macarena on the bar at 2am, wearing nothing but Stavros the Scuba Guys, budgie smugglers, but I maintain I have yet to see any photo evidence. <laughs> So what do you reckon? Where are we going then? OK. OK, right. Picture this, son. Mykonos. And not some cheap, grubby place. A proper nice place without stains on the mattress. We'll spend our days by the pool. Go walking on the beach. And at night, we'll hit the bars and we'll dance till we drop. It'd be nice if they did mountain hiking. Oh, and Billy will want to see some local history. Oh, there's plenty of that, them Greeks. They practically invented it and they're not short of a mountain or two. See? Something for everyone. Now, I know it's not cheap, so I might see if Devenger can throw in a bob or two. Memory like that is priceless. Exactly. 
and we can always try and say that Chesney is under 18. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, love. Can I have some more Papa Dom's, please? Thank you. I was being an idiot. What did you think was happening? Miley was playing on the swings while me and Jackson make out. No, I'm just trying and trying to adjust it. Do you think we're hiding something? No, I know you aren't. But? It caught me off guard, OK? That you'd seen him and not told me. I, I was jealous for a moment. And, I mean, it's not like you two have the best history either, is it? What he did to you, moving to Canada, I, I don't want you to get hurt. I just want to support you in the best way that I can. And, yeah, I'm doing the total opposite of that, cos, yet again, I'm overthinking everything. I don't expect anything from you. And I appreciate you trying so hard. <sighs> Maybe I should try a little less. Yeah. And stop stressing. <sighs> I love you. I love you too. If it's weird for us to think about how Miley feels, we just have to take our time with it all. Yeah, you're right. Thanks for the pork scratchings. No worries. I mean, you probably worked up an appetite snogging your baby daddy. Not funny. Well, it's a little bit. Harry's book was about planets. Sure, you jumped at the chance. I just thought you'd want to know, and you seemed okay. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Honestly, I don't care. You could add a zero to it and I still wouldn't be interested. Well, the thought of being banged up with you if we are caught enough to put me off anyway. Should have worn my coat. Bit frosty. It's frosty because you're not welcome, so just get out. That's no way to talk to a mate. I'm not your mate. Really? Then how come I kept you out of it with the police? Could have landed you right in it, but I didn't, did I? Mate. Honestly, I'm waving the white flag for a second time, but I'm really sorry about what happened with Sam. He's a good kid and I mean that. I would have never knowingly put him in harm's way. But look at the damage you've caused. The only communication I have about my son is through Sarah. Look at you coming here, playing the big hero, thinking you've saved me. You've saved me from nothing. Not an easy fella to please your brother, is he? Don't know who's better at playing hard to get. You are, him. It's not a game. This is my family. You should be ashamed. Lunch again tomorrow, babes. Admit it, you adore me. Oh, no, 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 don't give that to me, love. No, oh, I'm an eater, not a payer. Well, thank you very much for the lovely grub. May I ever tell you that you're my favourite child? <laughs> Hey, and good luck with, um, you know, whatever it is you were on about with, uh, Ashley. Aaron. Yeah. Yeah, him too. See ya. What's wrong? I can't pay this. Oh, right. It's just me, you know, not working at the yard with Ed. Well, I'll pay it. No, I was supposed to be treating you. Yeah, and you did. You let me talk at you about my day. Is everything else OK? They had me appointment at the hospital today. Oh, I am so sorry. And here's me banging on about my problems. I totally forgot. What did they say? They said... They still don't know how long it's going to take to fix. Oh, that must be so annoying. But you'll get there. You'll be back working with Ed soon enough. Yeah, I guess. Is that why you only ordered a starter? You must be starving. Right, I am going to get you a dish to take home and we're going to watch that film, like you said, OK? Can I interest you in another during happy hour? Two for one drinks? No, just serve him with a bigger smile. <laughs> Go on then. All right. Actually, on second thoughts, no, we'll leave him. I've done nothing wrong. Even Amy said I didn't do anything. There's no smoke without fire if you ask me. Come on. Ignore him. 
People just want something to get irate about. I don't want anyone thinking bad of me. Then you're living on the wrong street. Look, just keep your head down, crack on with work, and it'll all blow over. Yeah, I wish I could. Well, you can, because I've had a word with Tyrone and told him what Amy said, and he says you can start back tomorrow. No more daytime TV for you, then. Thanks, Abby. I wish everyone around here was as nice as you. Oh, you didn't have the greatest of starts, and I've been guilty of messing up some people's starts in me time. So, I uh, don't know, uh, buys around you, some will call it even. Deal. Right then, Abby, we've got an offer on pork scratchings. You buy one packet, you get the second at exactly the same price. Beautiful. <laughs> Two packets, please. And it's just as captivating to see unfold in all its majesty. Oh, what I do? Wrong. Shots are always, always a good idea. Oh dear. <laughs> There was a crash, and the door was pulled on something. Who's staring at me? Because you're beautiful, and you don't know it. Bed. Couldn't sleep. Not your first official night back. Oh well. Look, if this is about the debt, it's really not worth you keeping yourself up over. It's not. If you've spoken to the company, I'm sure they'll be helpful. No matter how many years it takes to repay. I said it's not that. It's been a really stressful day. Go back to bed. I'll be through in a minute. And if you've been affected by issues raised in tonight's episode, you can go to itv.com slash advice for support information. Well, it's crime drama next tonight here on ITV1 with The Bay. <laughs>